We're up here at Blue Bank Resort on Real Foot Lake, and we've got with us Jackie Wayne Van Cleve. And Jackie is a tournament crappie fisherman, and he travels all over the United States fishing for crappie. Jackie, when you go to a new lake, how do you find crappie on a new lake? Well, Bubba, the first thing we'll do, we'll get our maps out of that lake, and we'll do a little research on the maps, you what know. What are you looking for on those maps? Well, if it's springtime of the year, we want to look for some shallow water, some creeks running in, back into the bays into some shallow water, or some drop-offs, you know. We want some deep water where it falls off deep and comes up shallow and runs into a creek, and that's where you'll find your pre-spawn and spawning fish back, you know, coming out of the deep, moving back towards the shallows. All right, so you look, you look at your maps first, then what do you do? You look at your mouth, find your boat ramps, and you know, the usual thing, learn your bait houses and all that stuff. Then you take your little tour of the lake. You do a lot of riding around. You do a lot of side scanning with your lower ants, you know, finding, you know, underwater treetops, logs, stumps, uh, mats. You do a lot, of, a lot of searching. All right, now what do you do with that side scan? How does it work, and how do you mark the spots you want to come back and fish? Well, you just... Set your side, turn your side scan on. You go down through there, and you'll find something. If if it's you know pre-spawn, you want something you know eight to twelve foot. If it's spawn, you want something shallower. You know you want to go shallower. Then you just ride down there and look for your tops, you know, and stuff. And you'll put your waypoint on it, mark it, then come back and fish it. Before you start fishing a tournament, how many waypoints will you have have marked? Probably. Oh Lord, some lakes more than other. Uh, <laughs> We could have up to 10 to 50. I mean, it just depends on what lake we're at and what time of year it is and the terrain. You know. All right, then after you've walked, marked your waypoints, do you go back and fish them before the tournament or not? Oh, yeah, you got to find out if it's fish in there, which, which the side scan will show the fish. It'll light up like a Christmas tree. When it lights up like a Christmas tree, it's fish, the little white things. And uh, we'll go in there and, and we'll, we'll see what size fish is holding on that spot. And if it's a big fish, we'll catch one or two and we pull off. We'll go to the next one. We won't sit there and just drain it. Not when we're tournament fishing. All right, and then how far ahead are you are you checking your spots before? Say the tournament's on Saturday. When's the last time you go check them? Well, probably Friday morning. Friday morning. Yeah. How big a fish are you looking for, Jackie? Well, tournament fish, to even place in the top ten, you're going to have to have a pound and a half average 90% of the time. But you got to have some kicker fish. you got to have that two-plus fish to, you know, get up in the top five or win it. That's a two-pound-plus fish. All right. Well, folks, we're going to come back with Jackie Wayne uh, on some more of this stuff. So uh, we'll get right back with you.